welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Linda and today we're going to be making a black eyed pea, some rice, and some cornbread. Yes, I, I put a little twist um, on my black eyed peas. Um, instead of bell pepper, I use poblano. So it gives it a little, a little, a little spiciness. Um, so that's just little, little twists that you're going to see. And of course I make some spicy uh, cornbread. So um, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I had soaked the black eyed peas overnight and I also have some cut up onion, poblano pepper, some garlic, chopped it up real fine on the garlic, and then some thyme, some smoked paprika, some olive oil, and chicken broth. So I have all of that ready so we can put it in the Dutch oven. So I put the onion, the milano peppers, bacon, and the crushed garlic into the Dutch oven with a little bit of olive oil to get those going. And making sure to give those a little stir so you know nothing really burnt, so it kind of all cooks evenly. And then I've added my black eyed peas and giving everything a stir. Make sure that you know it's just well blended so all the flavors mix. And then I've added my spices, the thyme and the smoked paprika. And I've also added some of the uh, chicken stock and giving that a stir so all of those flavors blend. And I added a little bit more water just because I like uh, my black eyed peas with a little more broth. So we're getting those up to simmer. So now that it's uh, rapidly simmering, I'm going to go ahead and put the lid of the Dutch oven and turn down the heat so it can cook slow the rest of the way. In the meantime, I'm going to fry up some bacon. Uh, I'm also going to use this cast iron pan for the cornbread and the grease from the bacon will help with that. And I'm going to add a little bit of bacon to our cornbread. So in the cornbread, I just did a normal uh, cornmeal mix and then I added some cheese, whatever type of cheese you want to add, and then some jalapenos just to give it a little spiciness. And then I went ahead and added the little bit of bacon and then stirring that in as well. Make sure everything is blended nicely before we go ahead and put it in the cast iron pan that still has some of the bacon grease. So this is the pan with the bacon grease and um, we're going to go ahead and put the cornmeal batter in the cast iron pan with the bacon grease so that way uh, it'll cook and give it a little extra flavor. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, put that into the oven and go ahead and get started with our rice. The rice I'm using is jasmine rice. Uh, most people use white rice, but I prefer jasmine rice. I, I, I like the, the fragrance of the jasmine rice and I pretty much use it in everything, but you know, white rice is a little bit too bland for me, but you can use whatever rice that you like. So we're cooking that up, getting that started. So now everything's ready. Our cornbread, our black eyed peas, and our rice. This really turned out to be a really filling meal and everybody enjoyed it. 
So that was pretty much it, you guys. That was the Black Eyed Peas and Cornbread. And it was really, really good. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching that. There was no cornbread left after that meal. So um, I had this on a meal plan in a prior week. So if you're in need of a meal plan, I will go ahead and leave it in the description box below and somewhere here. So it, like I said, if you're in need of a meal plan, you just need to grab one, go ahead and grab that one and save yourself some time. So um, like I said, I hope you uh, enjoyed uh, cooking with me, you guys. And I have other uh, videos too of cooking. Uh, so feel free to just check out my channel. So thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you know when I drop more videos. Um, thank you again, you guys, and we'll see you in the next one.